My name is Susan Rolich and I am a kitchen and bath designer with Kitchens and Baths by Design. So Kitchens and Baths by Design is owned by Aaron Dickerson. Um, Aaron is a nice young man who lives in Morgantown. His business is ALD Enterprises. The homeowners had a very specific idea as to what they wanted. They wanted an open concept. Um, it's a larger home, so they wanted it to be elegance and grace. That was one of the more important things. Whenever you walk into the home, it needed to be welcoming, but it needed to have a feeling of, of grandeur. So as we're coming into this space, Susan, it is so wide open and airy and beautiful. Tell me how we arrived at this transition from dining into the kitchen and why the decisions were made. Well, the homeowners are, they're a, a young dynamic couple. They entertain quite a bit. So for them, the openness was important. They have young children, they have a large family. So they wanted everyone to be able to gather in this space comfortably. I was introduced to the homeowners by their contractor, Al Barnes, and I've worked with Al for quite a number of years. Um, Al brings the homeowner to me, he gives me the plans, and then I just take it from there. Tell me about how we came about choosing the cabinetry, what style it is, because this, is, this has contemporary feel, but it's definitely a transitional home. It is. So the house really doesn't fit into like one specific genre. Um, and it's sort of as reflective of the homeowners because they, they don't either. But the importance to them was is that they wanted a, 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 an elegant, classic style. They're going to live here for a long, long time. Moving forward through here when it comes to the integration, talk to me about doing built-in refrigerators like we did, like the signature fridges, fridge and freezer that we did here. They wanted to do all refrigerator, all freezer because you know, where they live, they're not five minutes from the grocery store and we get a decent amount of snow here. So they wanted to be able to have a well-stocked kitchen and pantry. So moving forward through here, I mean, what I see is a lot of drawers and that's what I know, that's what clients want, that's what they need. Tell me about the execution, the planning. So I, I start, I, I personally like drawers. You know, you whatever you put in there, it stays in there. It doesn't fall off. Opening a drawer is a single motion, whereas having rollouts, you have to open the doors and then roll it out. So ergonomically, it just takes less time to open them. And speaking of drawer, I mean, we we, were, oh. we did a good job of hiding one of ours. Yes, the, the refrigerator drawers, um, the husband loves these. The, it's it's easy for him to store. The kids keep their their juices and their water bottles in here. And then moving forward through the island, you just see more more drinks and more entertaining. More stuff. In a microwave, obviously. Microwave but. drawer is probably it's very popular right now because microwaves are not beautiful things. So we sort of like to hide them. We like to tuck them away and we like to keep them in places where, you know, kids can use them. We have wine storage. Um, it's a dual zone, mm -hmm. so you can store um, your whites chilled at one, one temperature, your reds chilled at, at another temperature. So moving on to this big, gigantic, beautiful island, tell me about the countertop selection process for this house. So the customer chose Hanstone. Um, it is a quartz countertop and this color is Calicutta Gold. Um, the installer is Preferred Surfaces and they do majority of my fabrication and installation. I think it's not nearly as busy and it matches the appeal of the and, kitchen. And they and they did this stone throughout the entire house. Going to the range, I remember this was a really, really big part of the conversation. The kitchen really gravitated around the range when it came to them selecting their appliances. Mm -hmm. So as far as sizing, as far as oven selection, as far as the, the hood. Give me, mm -hmm. walk me through how we arrived at the 48 inch size, how we arrived at the more custom wood hood and things like that. Okay, so having six dedicated burners works really well for them because they can cook multiple things at the same time. Um, the wooden hood, and a, a hood is, is made up of three different parts. It's the pretty wooden part, and then if you look up underneath, there's a, a stainless steel housing. And then that's the second part. And then the third part is the blower. 
and so moving through here more obvious lighting in this kitchen was beautifully done and executed the sconces over there the light fixtures over top mm -hmm. of the island all tie into the kitchen moving on to the dishwasher we paneled that and simply because this run right here we stayed all cabinetry uh, but they went with the cove dishwasher um, beautiful integration obviously with that full overlay panel we still were able to get it flush with the door frames all the way around it well susan walking through this kitchen it really is a statement to the work that everybody put in you especially it all is put on stage here and it was wonderful walking through it and thank you so much for all your all the tidbits and knowledge that you had as far as why you did what you did and i'm sure the homeowners are pleased they are and it's a pleasure to work with you yeah and when you work with your friends this is what you get this is what you get absolutely absolutely